the blockchain coder there you will find all the resources we have provided for this particular project which we're going to build together so come back to the source code section here you will find all the project we have built on our channel everything is working absolutely fine so build at least five projects then you can able to understand that how blockchain tab exactly work so come here click on this recent project and here you will have in that you will find the final source code as well as the startup file as well as the setup video which i'm recording this one so click on this get now and it will take you here from here you can get the final source code startup file and the setup video which i'm going to attach so click on this get startup file you will come back to the github repository there you will find all the folder and file structure all the technology all the required node versions and the test account which is already provided to you so here we have provided all of this now let's come back here and let me give a quick walkthrough of the final source code so come back here once you will get the final source code you will get the zip file make sure to unzip that and you will get this particular folder make sure to open that one and that you will have this two folder the startup file and the final source code this is the entire code of the complete project which we're going to code together so make sure to open this folder in your vs code so i'll click on this vs code i can come back open i can go back to desktop and here i have this particular one and i will select this particular folder open it this is the entire code of the project which we're going to code together and this one is very important that you have to understand the entire folder structure which we are utilizing so later in the future if he, any other developer wants to contribute in the project it would be easy for them to do that so the very first section we have is the component in that you will have the entire component we have designed so this is the svg icon section and that you will find all the icon which we are utilizing in the filter section input and search that's all we have here we are simply importing the icons we are also using the react icon library and we are using the svg icon we are using the combination of that so simply close this one this is the svg this is the component for action we have a filter we have a input search we have a loader nft details pop-up model preloader and here we have this component which we are importing and exporting so we can utilize it it's going to be a single page application so this is the entire component of our application now come back to the pages in that we have the two pages so we don't need to do any configuration right up here the only thing we have to do is to take the toaster for displaying the notification and here we have the library which allow to provide the animation and all come back to the index page and this is the entire code where we are doing all the logic for our application so you don't need to make any changes right up here i'll tell you what are the changes you have to do which you can simply perform if you want to do the changes so the complete logic we have included right up here all the changes which you have to do in your environment variable and everything would be working fine that's the index page now we can simply come back here close it here we have the public folder in that we have the asset folder in that you will find the css file font icon images and javascript which you can simply ignore it it's not that important we are utilizing it behind this thing because we are using libraries here we have the icons of our project so this is the icon this is the logo that's all we have and this is the blockchain coder simply close this one close this one come back to the styles and in that we have the global file so we are importing all the css file then we have created a couple of custom classes which we are utilizing it looks perfect so you don't need to touch anything just keep it as it is now we can come back to the packages and file i'll show you the environment variable so come back to the next year just keep it as it is here we have the packages and file we are utilizing very light packages so we have this three script dev build start lint and here we have the dependency we are using this form sphere for sending email we are using acmily xjs and here we have the toaster and the icon so it's pretty small libraries we are utilizing here we have the readme file in which i have given you all the details about this particular project including the setup video or you can watch this video till then you will understand everything that what are the technology you have come back to the environment variable which is the most important thing so come back here so we need couple of private key so the first thing we need is the acmily api key which allows us to make the call so this is my api key which i'm going to provide you in the final source code but make sure to create your own api key and provide it here by default i'm going to start the application on base sofali because i use base sofali a lot so just keep it as it is because user can simply switch it from the front end or you can simply specify a particular blockchain where you want to allow the user to start because if you come back to the if you come back to the application the api key we have the base network and here i have this two account which i have taken as a dummy so this is the account which i have found on openz which i have used to show you all the nft and this is my account which i have used on ethereum sofali and base sofali to create and fetch the nft and this is my form spare api key for sending email i hope you guys are familiar with all of this that's the only thing we need these things are important this one this one and this one 
this one is additional I have given so you can simply do the testing from your end so once you have all of this now before actually I execute this code let's try to get our API keys first so first we're going to get this Acme API key so come back minimize that come back here open a new type type Alchemy and it's a powerful platform allow you to interact with the web3 nodes and the blockchains it has a multiple supports which you can simply utilize it I can simply log into my account um, there you will find I have logged into my account make sure to create your account verify your account once you will have it you will have a similar dashboard like it here you will find all the project which I have created you can click on this view all and here you will find all of that I've already created a lot of project this one is the active project which is going on from one of my clients that's what you can see and if you want to create one you can simply click here and you can simply create I'm not going to do that okay because I have already exceed my limit I'll simply come back here and I'm going to use the existing project so this time I'm going to utilize this NFT marketplace endpoint and you can simply come back here and you can pick anyone so I'll suggest you to pick a ethereum let's see where is ethereum there it is or you can go with anyone because all the API key will have the same endpoint so you can simply select here copy this one and that's what you can provide in the code so I'm going to simply replicate it and that's what I can simply provide paste here and I'm going to simply comment this one so that's the first thing I'll just keep it this way I'm not going to make any changes keep this way and I hope you guys know that how to generate this one because I have explained in multiple times so make sure to watch this to understand that how you can create your own account and get your APK I'm not going to repeat the same thing again okay once you replace that now you are ready to start the application so simply come back here close this one open up your terminal your terminal and now you have to check your node version so if I show you my node version I'm using the latest one there is no problem using the latest one if I check my NPM version I'm using the latest one there's no problem now I have to install the packages I'll simply type npm i and it's going to do the installation and I will have my node modules in that I will have all the packages which I have utilized for building the application so close this one here we got a couple of warnings simply ignore that it's not that important so I'll simply clear my terminal now we have installed the uh, packages now we can simply run the application so we can simply come back here in the packages and file we'll run the dev command after that I will show you how we can run the build command to deploy the application so simply type npm run dev and it's going to do the loading here you can see our application will start on localhost 3000 I'm going to simply cut this one cut this one come back to the browser I'm going to simply close this one and I'm going to simply close this one open up my terminal stop the application from running and I have to run the build command so if you come back here in the packages and file it's going to export the out folder and that will have the complete code of our project so simply type npm run build and hit enter It's going to generate the static file and that's what you can deploy so you have two options to deploy the application you can deploy it as a next year application or you can deploy it as a static file so most of you don't like to deploy as a next day application and some of you like to use like WordPress so once the generation will complete successfully you can able to find this out folder in that you will have the complete source code of the project and this is the folder we have to upload I'll simply close this one close this one so we're done with this I'm going to and we can go back to the Netlify I hope you know how to get to Netlify Netlify hit enter and it will take you here click on the very first link and it is a very powerful platform which allow you to deploy your application for absolutely free if your application is static then you will find all the details so make sure to create your account create your account with github it will help you a lot because if you want to import any repository from github and upload you can do that very easily but we are following the static model so i will click on login and here i am into my dashboard i have already deployed the application you can see that is there but i will deploy this one one more time so i'll click on this go back to deploy manually and here I have to simply drop the folder so I'll click on this go back to the desktop I'm already on the desktop click on the explore go back to the final source code and this is the folder we have generated the out folder simply select and upload so this is the one which we have to upload it click on this upload and it's uploading don't refresh the browser it will take like 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds to upload the code and here you will have that in your dashboard so finally we have uploaded the code successfully and here you can see we got the URL so I want to change the URL of my application so come back to the site configuration and here you will have an option called change site name you can do the changes so I'll say NFT Explorer you can call whatever you want and save it and this name is already taken so I'll say XPNT Explorer and click on this save and here we got it now you can easily able to visit this one to 
have your application live so i'll click here and i will come back here. so that's the only thing from my end i hope you guys have understood that how powerful this application is if you have any more question in doubt let me in the comment section and make sure to follow the complete project you will understand everything with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.